So we're going to begin with the heel stiffener. Be sure to transfer your pattern onto the thermoplastic material before heating it up. So I heated it with my heat gun and I stick it to the heel. Be careful when you're doing this because it does get really hot. Um, the inside has an adhesive to it so it will stick to wherever you place it on. As you can see there, while I'm hammering, there's also a little split that I cut in the back. That was just to help it sort of conform to the heel, get rid of some of the excess material. As you're doing this, you'll figure out like the best way to sort of manipulate this material. Now I'm heating up the edges, getting it really hot, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to smush that edge with my hammer. It's important to use a hammer, not your fingers, again, because this is like really hot. So I'm smushing it, and what that's doing is it's sort of thinning the edges, plus it's adhering it uh, to the lining. That way, you'll have sort of a smooth transition. It won't be perfect, but it'll be close enough. Now I am tracing out my toe puff. This is vegetable tan leather. I will supply you with this. Um, so... Yeah, you're just going to cut this out based off of your template. Now I am trimming off the pleats. So what you want to do is you want to have a really sharp blade. I, I advise you to put a new blade in your craft knife to cut these pleats. You don't want to cut too much off, just trim it. Um, any ideas that you'll have like a smooth surface that's less bulky. So I'm going to trace my toe puff onto my lining so I know where it uh, needs to be. And then I'm going to nail it to the last. It's okay to put nails through the lining as, you know, once the shoe is closed, you won't be able to see those holes anyway. So I'm going to take my spray bottle and I'm going to spray this leather. Try not to spray the lining so much. Try to aim directly at the toe puff. Um, you can also do this before attaching it to the last. But I sprayed the inside, I'm going to spray the outside. And you see me sort of rubbing in the water. Now I'll begin lasting. And it's very important to use uh, the leverage of your lasting pliers to stretch this material. And you just grab a little bit at a time. Even when it seems like it's not going <laughs> to work out too well, I promise you it will be okay. Just be patient um, and add as many nails as you might find necessary. It's important to use your hammer to smooth out some of these pleats. Um, you can do that with the lasting hammer or an actual hammer. The nice thing about this French hammer is that it has a claw on the end and you can use that to sort of flatten the edge as I'm doing here. Now we're going to use our heat gun to sort of dry this leather. Um, ideally you would let it dry overnight so that it's totally dry. but uh, and this, for the sake of time, we're going to use a heat gun. Now you can see me removing the nails. And once these nails get removed, you can use the heat gun again to uh, dry the inside if it is not completely dry. Now we're going to apply glue. So I made a mark. Uh, showing the edge of the toe puff on the lining. So I'm just going to apply glue up until that mark. And I'm going to put a little bit along the feather edge underneath as well. And I'm going to apply glue to the inside of the toe puff. Now you're going to stick that toe puff to the lining, matching the line that we drew earlier. And anytime you glue something, you want to try to hammer it so that you can get a really good bond. Now that the tote box is adhered, we can begin trimming it. 
The purpose of this is to make it easier to last the upper material. You're just trimming the edge so that you have a sort of smooth transition into the lining. Once you're done trimming, you want to roughen the surface of the toe box. You can do this with a file, you can do it with sandpaper, maybe you have a wood file, that works too. Um, you could even use a Dremel if you'd like, but I will say be careful with those because you could potentially gouge the surface or cut into your lining. Now you're going to apply glue to the vamp area. You want to go beyond the toe puff and you're going to apply glue to the underside of the upper as well. But instead of waiting for the two surfaces to sort of uh, set, you're just going to stick them together immediately. This will give you a bit more working time so that you can last the upper. Now I've skipped ahead. I've already used my nails to last this upper. Now I'm applying glue. And once this glue dries, then I will begin uh, sticking the two surfaces together. And that is what you see here. And that's it for this demo. Next up, we'll be applying a sole to this shoe. And that'll be it. I hope this demo was helpful. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.